Hello, welcome to Cass County today. With me today is Julie Kalaki. She is with the Community Services of North Northeast Texas, right? Yes. Yeah, I should know that. Anyways, she is here to talk about Christmas coming up. She also represents the Salvation Army and many things. And start off telling us, give us a little background first, Julie, about Community Services. They've been in effect in, in Cass County, especially for a while, haven't they? Since 1965, as a matter of fact, yes. Um, Lyndon Johnson was the one who started the Community Action Program back in 1965, and we've been providing supportive services and resources for needy families in yeah. our area since then, and um, we've expanded to many other counties as well. Wow. Yes. That's amazing since this oh, thing yes. has been since 65. Yes, ma'am. That's a long time. Okay, well, uh, what is your job at the Community Services? Well, I am uh, the Cass County Coordinator, and what I do is um, help energy assistance um, program recipients. And what that does is uh, low-income families, oh, okay. um, working families who meet our income guidelines, um, we help the working families become more self-sufficient by assisting um, percentage-wise mm -hmm. of paying their utility bills, Good. and then also assisting the elderly and disabled with the same as paying their utility bills, electric and gas only, for energy. Right. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed an increase lately, say, in the last couple of years? Absolutely. This oh, year has yeah. been absolutely amazing, the amount of people that we've been able to serve. Um, and right now, we have not had to turn anyone away. Wonderful. Um, but we've had the funding come uh, come our way. And it's just amazing that we're able to help the number of people in our, in our local community. Mm -hmm. Is this particular part, the energy part, is that government funded? Yes, ma'am. Oh, that so that's out of a CSP. BG grant, the community services block grant. Yeah. Well, uh, she also they also have a food bank, right? Yes, ma'am. We do have a food bank. But that's not government funded. No, ma'am. That is all by donation. Yeah. And we were blessed a little earlier this year, a um, few months ago, with a, a local organization who filled our pantry mm -hmm. um, wonderfully. Unfortunately, the need has been so high. Yeah that we're depleted again and we are needing donations for the food pantry um, canned goods okay. uh, pastas beans things of that nature we do have a freezer a small freezer now that we can do some meats that we can put in the yes. freezer um, eggs and milk as long as we watch the expiration dates um, but we would love to have that filled again with the Chris especially Christmas coming yeah. the economy is so low and people are are more in need this year than last what if you're a deer hunter or a hog hunter? Can you take that kind of meat that's been processed, or does it have to come directly from a grocery store? Well, I don't know our uh, guidelines on that. Um, we haven't had any meat brought to us yet. Okay. Um, well. I would have to check with our executive director, Dan Boyd, who I've been told has, has told me that I need to say he's the greatest boss on the earth. Okay, Dan, <clears> you're <throat> the greatest boss on the earth. Oh, that's according to Julie now. That's according to Julie, not me, because you know Randy is a, a pretty well, good boss. Yeah, Randy. Well. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> well, you know, there might be some regulations there with yes. with uh, locally processed meat, but there may not too. I don't. Right. I don't know. And if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to call our office at six, uh, 903-796-3383 and either speak with Heather or myself. Yeah, because you know, lots of people have chickens too. Yes, and they always have an abundance of eggs. Absolutely. So, you know, if you're interested, just give them a holler. Yes, definitely. And, and maybe you can pass. Come on. Okay. Is there anything in particular you need for Christmas? Like, are you collecting Christmas food items like cranberry sauce or, you know, well, well, just it, anything? Anything would be a welcome blessing right now. Um, I would love to put uh, Christmas food baskets together for some yeah. of our clients. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, but, again, we would need a, a lot of, of items brought to us. Right. Well, you know, hey, if you're out there and you want to help, ring her up. Okay, well, let's get to the fun stuff because yes. it's Christmas time. It is the best time of the it year. It is the best time. Other than back to school time. I love that time, too. Especially if you're a parent yes. for back to school. Yeah, <laughs> but not so much if you're a teacher. But Okay, all right. Christmas it is. It's Christmas. It's Christmas, and the Salvation Army has two different programs that are going on right now. We have the Angel Tree mm -hmm. Program, which we um, have selected children all across Cass County, and their information, not their names, have been put onto um, angels on select trees in okay. the community. Capital One here in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. We also have the Cow Cass County Cowboy Church on 59, and then we also have the hospital in Linden, oh, um, which are sites that uh, 
the angels can be adopted. They just read the information on the angels and um, pick you one get, up. Yes, get the it, whatever they want to purchase. They don't have to purchase everything on the on the list. Then take it back to the host site. We pick everything up on the sixteenth, and then Heather and I and a couple of volunteers, our children, <laughs> will be um, packaging, processing, and wrapping for delivery of uh, and pickup of the gifts for the week of Christmas. So then you don't want these wrapped. Um, some of the places do wrap their gifts okay. um, other places have chosen not to other the pe- other some of the people who have donated in the past have not wrapped that's perfectly fine we just we'll just wrap them and get everything okay. to the children um, in each of the families wonderful well what else you got going on well we have our red kettle campaign for Salvation Army going on right now oh the ringing thing yes, yes. the ringing of okay. the bells and we are again in desperate need of volunteers to ring the bell last year we had a an incredible um, I'm of people that covered Crumps and Linden and Walmart and Brookshire's. Wow. This year, we have not had the, uh, the volunteers that we need. We need a lot more to bring up the money that we have. Yeah. Everything that's donated in Cass County stays in Cass County Great. for our residents. Wonderful. Nothing has to go to the corporate office, which is fantastic because we're able to help with all of the things that Salvation Army does. We mm-hmm. do gas vouchers mm-hmm. for doctor's appointments. We also assist with prescription medications. Um, um, we also help with transients who are needing either transportation mm-hmm. to another location or um, an overnight stay in a hotel if they're stranded. We also help with fire victims, which we yes, did a lot of that, yeah. this year. And I thank everybody in Cass County who has really stepped together, pulled together, yeah. and uh, helped us help all of the um, survivors of the Bear Creek fires. Okay, well, if somebody's interested in ringing the bell, they can give us a call at either 799-7390 or 903-796-3383. They can either talk with me, Julie, or Heather Humphreys, who is our case management assistant. Okay. Is there a particular, I mean, do you have to stay out there eight hours ringing this bell? Two Absolutely. hours, three hours? Absolutely, whatever they want. If they if there's a civic organization or student council at the oh, school. Oh, that's a great idea. Yes, yeah. they could do even... Um, some sort of um, competition between Queen City and Atlanta high Great school idea. student councils and see who can raise the most money. Yeah. And maybe there would be a pizza party for those who were the winners. Who knows? Mm, Just give us idea. a call and we'll Church see what we can do. Church youth groups would be great. Church at youth it. groups yes. are wonderful. We have a couple in Linden that are going to be um, taking care of the Crump site at different days, but we still do need a lot more people um, okay. to cover all of the hours. We will be ringing, except on Sundays, through Christmas Eve. Um, right now, we're scheduling thursday friday and saturdays it would be fantastic if we could get somebody in the spots yeah. from 8 a.m to 8 p.m like we did last year but everyone's busy and the you know if you have a job you know you're busy yes you're busy. and the economy if the job is more important we understand sure so. but if you've got time to ring the bell and you want to donate your time well hey a couple of hours here it would be a tremendous blessing later. oh it would definitely and like i said earlier every penny stays in cass county if you're not able to volunteer for the ringing of the bell you're more than welcome to make a cash donation <laughs> check or um or money order oh. and just in the memo put cass county salvation army and, and it'll go right to there and it'll go right to us it goes to p.o box uh, 1295 linden texas and all of the money will come to me and i'll put it into our account so that we can go ahead and serve all of the people that are in need this year <clears throat> and if they want to specify <laughs> the program that it goes to whether it's the um, the Angel Tree program or um, funds that are going to go to the fire victims still, mm-hmm. um, they can put that in the memo as and well. And it'll go directly to that Absolutely. fund. Absolutely. Is there an age limit to ring the bell? Um, 16 and over. Okay. Um, if there is a group of young people younger than that, as long as there's an adult with them, then they're more than welcome to. Okay, um, to, to come down idea. and ring. That would be fabulous. It'd be a good idea if you were a grandparent, you know, and you had your grandchildren and you were teaching them. Absolutely. And let Absolutely. them ring the bell for a couple hours. That'd be nice. Absolutely. It's 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 all about helping others at this time of year. My son and I have decided that we're not doing a Christmas gifts for ourselves this year. We're adopting two angels and we're going to take care of their needs and yeah. see if there's anything that the families need as well. Yeah. Isn't that so, great? That it, is it feels wonderful. so good to give back. It is. You know, yeah. we have everything we need and nothing else will fit in our house really yeah so (laughs) so So you might as well get absolutely and and there are people out there who are not going to have a christmas and if we can help them out that's what it's all about what did we cover it all you got anything else um let's see well like the salvation army three programs that are going on the the 
food bank anything that you would like to donate anything. corporate sponsors that way we could go to the grocery stores and purchase things that we would like um, to fill the pantry with would be great as well mm -hmm. and a tax deductible because mm -hmm. we are nonprofits great well, all right Julie give them do you have a website they can check out um we have our low our, our general website which is csn texas.org csnt.org um and all of our programs are listed on there including um our nutrition program for elderly and disabled people mm -hmm. and then of course the head start programs okay. as well and give them your phone number one more time our phone number here for atlanta office is 903-799-7390 or 903-796-3383 Three three eight three. Well, that's easy. And yes. again, if you want to donate food or money or gifts, or your time ringing the bell, any of it, any of it, just anything you can do would be greatly appreciated. Absolutely. Amen. Thank All you right. so well, much. All right. Well, thanks, Julie. It was thank nice you. meeting you. It was you nice today. meeting you. And y'all, thanks for joining us again. Be sure and tune in again next week. We've got somebody else special lined up for you to get to know. And until then, be safe and have a great week.